So we're talking about some of the new reporting enhancements. So again, Microsoft has put a lot of emphasis on interaction with of getting data out of the system, of reporting, as well as interactive interactivity with some of the other Office products. For example, Excel Query. Now, we're looking at a, a list in a customer list in the, um, in the role pitter client. I'm going to click a button, and just with a click of a button, I'm going to send that to Microsoft Excel. And, the, and then if I go to my Microsoft Excel, I see what has been um, created in the in Excel automatically. It's basically created my customer list. And if I look at what the, the name of the first company is, it's Sportsmeyer Furnishings. I'm going to go to the customer card and edit that. So just simply I'm going to change it to Radiant Furnishings. And I'm going to click OK to save that. And what's really great about this new query function is I'm going to go back to Excel. This is the same sheet that was created before. I'm going to go to Dynamics NAV and I'm going to refresh that. And you can see it went out and it knew the query, so it automatically went and refreshed that. Now, I know I showed it to you in a very quick, simple, um, in a very quick, simple list. Though that's going to that's great because as you build these lists in Excel, as you click out and it creates the automatic query, and then you you format your spreadsheet, etc. You can click query, and it's going to update those lists automatically. You don't have to rerun those lists every time you want to do that. So I'm going to show you an Excel spreadsheet here. Now, we've created this Excel spreadsheet to show you how great that query is. Now, we've, this I don't think is out of the box. This is something we created as a prototype. What, it's, what I've done is I've taken and created uh, some different graphs here. And, and there's several different graphs. And as you can see, there's different tabs on the bottom. And the different tabs, data 1, 2, 3, and 4, are the different queries that I've created there that I can update with the click of my Update Dynamics NAD button. What I've done is I've used uh, regular Excel features and functions to create a, to create this dashboard. And right here I have all my customer names, for example. And, it, and here I have all my country and region names. And if I want to create, click on Great Britain, that updates all the other indicators and graphs on the spreadsheet to show my graphs by salesperson, by product mix, by sales amount, by country and region name. And this is, this is just showing you the power of the new NAV functions along with what's already built in Excel. Just the same, I have customer discount groups. I can click on it and filter everything by there. It just gives you just such power and, and flexibility as well. And you can see I'm doing this. I have them by item, by customer discount group. On the right-hand side, I have it by sales and purchaser, et cetera. And I can just go down to customer sales and profit. Just similarly, I've created a different type of, of inf information here by customer. And it, it's sorted by a profit amount. And it's showing me some other indicators that I've gotten by my Excel functions. And if I wanted to see this again by Great Britain, I click this. And what it does is it automatically uh, updates all the, the information in my C sheet. So again, all this is available to you with NAV 2013, the, their Excel link, sorry, their query link, and regular Microsoft Excel.